Well, I don't think to anyone's surprise, uh, the two questions arose, or the two points arose in the previous video. Um, assuming the patriarchy exists, and I kind of do assume it exists, um, where did it come from? Did it just sort of arrive through a, not really a random process, but an organic process? Is it an effect as opposed to a cause, or um, is it a conspiracy? Is it something that was deliberately engineered in order to facilitate the male drive, I guess, towards hierarchy and the control of women? Assuming we have a patriarchy, and again, I assume we do, to be honest. Um, what do we make of it? How did it happen? Did we just blunder into it? Uh, or was it deliberately inculcated into our thinking in order to create a certain um, social order that we assume benefits a few people or less than half of the population or something like this? That's what a, any kind of hierarchy seems to imply, right? Although not necessarily because there are hierarchies in which everyone can benefit, but that's kind of another story. Um, <clears throat> the second question is, or the second point is, any system can be played, right? It doesn't matter what system you come up with. If you understand how it works, if you understand where the levers of power are to be found, the real levers of power, not the overt ones, you know, like if you watch the TV series Rome, um, 10 or so years ago when it came out. Um, you had an overtly patriarchal system, but the women were absolutely adept experts even at playing the system. Um, instead of really being subservient to men, they used men as their pieces on the chessboard. And the men weren't even aware that they were being used. In fact, they were ignoring what the women were doing because they weren't even interested in the power games that the women were playing. But the women were just as powerful as the men were, but they just, instead of trying to work within the system overtly, they learned how to play the system. So, a woman, I would presume, of great ability in ancient Rome would have no interest in creating what we now in the modern age might say equality between the sexes. Um, why should she? If she is perfectly capable of using the system as it is to get what she wants out of life, why should she want to abolish the distinctions between the genders, at least in terms of power? Not a lot of women are able to do this, of course, and again, Rome makes that abundantly clear, of course. Most women are helpless. Too bad. If the troops are marching by and they want to rape somebody in a village, well, they're just going to do it, and that's the end of it. Um, so I'm not trying to say that the system does favor women, not in the least, but I am saying that women with certain attributes and certain abilities, just like males of different attributes and different abilities, can play any system in existence. So taking those two points, the origin of the patriarchy evolution or conspiracy, and the fundamental relationship of the individual to the patriarchy. Are you simply playing the system, or are you honestly and consciously living within its rules? Because if you're living within the patriarchy's rules, you believe in them, you take them as a given, in a sense, you're inside the matrix, and anyone who's outside of it has an advantage over you because they're looking in. Playing the system... Well, first, the conspiracy thing in, in terms of where the patriarchy originated, I don't subscribe to that. I think it just sort of happened. Um, it just sort of happened because men and women view power differently. Um, and as far as playing the system, well, who is more likely to be able to successfully play the patriarchy? Who is more likely to successfully manipulate it to his or her own advantage? 
I've pointed out that women can play the patriarchy. They can sort of understand the rules and play it with a greater dexterity than a male can, even though women are outside of the rules, even though women are outside of the patriarchy. But let's be honest. If anyone is in a position to play the patriarchy, if anyone is in a position to benefit from a deliberately set up, a deliberately established set of rules, it's a man. If the system is patriarchal in its very nature, and you as a male can understand it for that, and understand that that's just the way society is, and what you have to do is build your power base among men, and more or less forget about um, any female ideas of power, you have the greatest overt power there is. A male playing the system to his own advantage has a greater likelihood of success than a woman playing the system, i.e. the patriarchy, to her own advantage. Um, So again, I'm not placing value on the patriarchy. I'm not saying it's something that we ought to consciously try to engineer out of existence because we seem to have, in some ways, i.e. males playing the system, have engineered it in its present form into existence. I'm not saying that it is a conspiracy, but individuals can use it that way. Like I say, the patriarchy didn't come about as a conspiracy. But once you understand how it works, you can then start to conspire, which kind of levels the playing field a bit. We, you know, if you understand the rules of any system, as opposed to just taking them for granted, you can then play the system. Anybody can. A woman can do it. But who have the most, who has the most fundamentally advantageous position in a patriarchal system? Unarguably, males. So, if anyone thinks I'm going right-wing with this idea, sorry, you're in for a disappointment. 